Hey Bean, can I ask you a question? Do you still remember the first time you were really confronted with a feeling? How intense that was? Falling in love for the first time, for example, it will always have a special place in my heart. The moment I achieved something out of my own strength and felt so proud of myself for the first time will also stay with me forever. Dealing with our feelings for the first time shows us how diverse and deep they can be and not just the positive ones. Didn't your first heartbreak feel like the end of the world? Or feeling really lonely for the first time, do you remember what that was like? For me it was like I can never be happy again. But every time we feel these feelings, we learn to deal with them better. We learn it will pass and that there will be good days again. Life has its ups and downs, this is just how it is. And I've been experiencing one of these downs in the last few weeks. And I really want to talk about that. Today I would like to share with you my experiences with starting my career as a full-time illustrator because I never thought it would hit me so hard. So I can once again find myself having a feeling that I have never experienced to this extent before, being completely on my own. I know this is not a real feeling, but it is at least a situation that I have never experienced like this. Even when I moved out and got my first apartment, the feeling wasn't nearly as scary as it is now. Back then I had a plan, what to do in my life and no existential fear. I received financial support from the state and from my family. I had a daily routine, I was able to see my friends at school regularly and I had projects there that I could work on and no real consequences if I didn't. Two months ago, when I graduated from art school, all of that fell away. Now it's a matter of falling out of bed straight into my workplace at home. Nothing that urges me to get up. The same four walls if I don't force myself to go outside. I only meet my friends if we arrange a meeting in advance and the time works for everyone. I only have a part-time job that can't even begin to cover all of my costs. I don't know, it seems like this is what growing up and becoming independent is all about. I knew this was going to happen, but I still imagined it differently. What I'm about to say now is a huge privilege and I'm aware of that. I never had to worry much about my finances before and felt safe. That's why it hit me hard when it suddenly wasn't like that anymore. Nothing I didn't see coming, but still shockingly overwhelming. I briefly fell into survival mode. Nothing was more important than saving my pennies so I could eat something at the end of the week. A feeling I never wanted to experience and don't wish on anybody. I had no money at all for a few days. I went into debt with my friends, family, my partner and out of pride with my bank because I didn't want to ask for more help. I have never felt so stressed and paralyzed as I did during this period. Even though the stress has now subsided, once again thanks to the support from the state, this situation has completely thrown my feeling of security over the edge. And even though I'm so happy to have this support from the state, I now have more pressure to establish my self-employment as quickly as possible because it's not an optimal or permanent solution. 
From what I say now, you could say I already have the perfect start to life as a full-time illustrator. I was able to secure three jobs that I will also enjoy. This sounds actually great, but together with a part-time job and my YouTube videos, I would work five jobs simultaneously. Even for a workaholic like me, that sounds like a lot. And this is where the pressure really begins. For years it has been my dream to make YouTube videos and earn something from them. Now that I'm seeing some real success, I feel the urge to continue making them alongside everything else that comes up. I feel like I'm not allowed to make the videos because they don't make me any money. So now doing what I love becomes a big vice at the same time because I'm constantly thinking about all the other things I have to do to really make money. I also feel the pressure to deliver and create only incredibly badass projects from now on. Plus the pressure to continue producing my own art and not forgetting myself in this whole process. I feel pressure to pursue all jobs at once that results out of a fear of losing one if I don't take it and start right away. There's just one problem. Although I was approved for the jobs even before I completed my training, which is again two months ago, I don't yet have a contract or anything that decides I actually get the jobs. All the agreements, the email correspondence, concluding contracts that I have no idea about is a process that takes forever, but one that constantly keeps me on my toes. I can't relax and work on the jobs because technically there are no jobs yet. This constant uncertainty, but also the constant having to think about everything, drains a lot of energy. At the same time, you have to deal with things that you have never done before. How do taxes work? What does accounting look like? How do I know if a contract doesn't just want to rip me off? How much is my work actually worth? The fear of making a mistake somewhere grows. And then this shitty feeling. Is it even the right career path for me if I have so many problems with it right from the start? Were the years, all the money that I spent on the training all in vain? Should I go and learn something safe like my grandpa told me from the beginning? I always thought I was the kind of person who would be perfect for being self-employed, being my own boss. Is it now becoming clear that this is not the case? I'm paralyzed and overwhelmed by all the things that need to be learned and thought of by self-doubt, by time management and end up doing nothing. At least that's how it feels because I know I do a lot, but nothing is quite right. Time moves on, but the to-do list doesn't shrink. And here, alongside the pressure, comes the feeling of guilt. I feel guilty for choosing this path and not being able to deal with it right away. It's my fault if I'm not as productive as I could be. I can do more. I have to do more. Even though everyone is already telling me to work less. Take some time for myself. Eat and sleep enough. Difficult with all the thoughts and to-dos in my head. In the end, meeting people and having free time also has slowly become a to-do, even though it was meant to be the balance to all the stress. All the burdens from my still uncertain work life continue to be noticeable in my relationships and in how I go through the day. I quickly become incredibly annoyed. I have lower self-esteem than usual. Social interactions stress me out from one moment to the next and I quickly feel overwhelmed with everything. Most of the time I can't really relax. Constant thoughts in my head are, instead of taking time and meeting people, I could be productive, advance my career. Guilt. Again. Guilt of not checking enough off of the to-do list before enjoying my free time. I know that none of this is healthy. 
I'm constantly told this from all sides and I also tell it to myself all the time. Nevertheless, it took clear signals from my body to make me finally act like it. This is the third time in a month that I've been sick. Almost had a circulatory collapse at work. I have difficulty concentrating, vertigo, and my psyche is no longer healthy either. I often felt like I was actually going crazy. I felt like losing my mind, not being able to see myself as myself anymore and like I no longer have a connection to reality and the people in it because I was so into working, I was so into survival mode, I was so into all of the stress and then it all happened. Depersonalization, derealization, panic attacks, anxiety. All of this not only worried but also scared me a lot and showed that the step into self-employment is not as easy as I thought it would be. I also know that it is kind of impossible to get your self-employment right straight from the beginning. I know it is okay and also inevitable to make mistakes, maybe even not get that one job I wanted to have. I shouldn't care so much. There are more opportunities coming for me. But I do care. I know there is the possibility to start with a creative career right away, which is why I can't really come down and take everything step by step, though I'm trying my best to do so. At this point I would like to empathize that this is my personal experience. I tend to overthink and overanalyze every little thing. I always want to solve problems straight away and can hardly tolerate bad feelings for more than a few minutes. Depersonalization and derealization have also happened to me before this life situation but they rarely occur and I also struggle with mental health for a longer period of time. So I need to do a lot of work on myself to be able to deal with situations like these better. Just because these are my experiences doesn't mean it has to be the same with you. But I know that many people in the art community struggle with similar things. And I just want to tell you, if you are thinking about becoming a full-time artist or any kind of self-employed creative, that you should take very good care of yourself. Regulate in advance what can be regulated, for example when it comes to finances after graduating. For me this was the turning point where it all started and drove me into the spiral of insecurities, worries and anxiety. As I said in the beginning of this video, I know that these bad, stressful times will pass. After these feelings have been particularly intense in the last two weeks, I am already feeling significantly better. By producing this video even more. This video gave me the opportunity to put my feelings into words, to deal with them and to organize them. I hope that these words and this painting did not unsettle you, but that you know you are not alone if you are going through something similar. This sometimes is enough to feel better, even if it doesn't change anything about your situation. I don't want to take away your hope of becoming self-applied with this video, but want to encourage you to go for it despite everything that will come your way. But I also don't want to idealize it. I wanted to show my reality of becoming a full-time freelance illustrator because I never really saw anyone speak about the exact period of time when they were just starting out, so a video like this would have been very helpful for me. And I want to show that despite all these experiences, you can go into the future as a full-time artist with a positive attitude. Because I, for my part, know I will overcome all these hurdles after all. And for the beautiful moments in which I literally cried with joy and pride, it was all worth it. Nobody can take these moments away from me and I know I will have a lot of them once I finally manage how to do the coolest job in the world.